We need to see Winnipeg next. Find out and see if the Patrick Line A rumors are true. Alright, all trades accepted with the Atlanta Thra- Sorry, the Winnipeg Jets. Let's go. Alright, let's see if those Patrick Line rumors are true. What's going on and welcome back to another episode of All Trades Accepted, this time with the Atlanta, sorry, Winnipeg Jets. Here we go, we got Kyle Connor, Mark Scheifele, and the aforementioned Patrick Line. Will he stay? Will he go? He's only 22 years old, a former second overall pick behind Austin Matthews, Blake Wheeler, Stastny, Ehlers. Their forward core is looking good. Unfortunately, their defense is well it's there I mean Neil Pionk and Josh Morrissey are great unfortunately the supporting cast is less than ideal here in Winnipeg on the back end but it's okay because they have a Vesna Trophy winner Connor Hellebuck so let me know what team you want us to do next for all trades accepted let me know with a witty or funny comment down there in the comment section but let's start this thing off with Winnipeg I really hope Line A does get a trade offer I hope it's not for like a second and a third and we start off right away by getting rid of a big piece of our offensive core Brian Little for a third and a fifth Okay, this is uh, starting off great. Okay, we trade Jack Roslevic and Jansen Harkins. Unfortunately, Jack Roslevic doesn't have an NHL contract right now, so we get a third, a prospect, and Connor Carrick, who's actually a high top six, which I feel like is a little bit high for Connor Carrick, but is he going to crack the defensive roster? He's 78. He probably will. So, uh, see you later, Jack Roslevic. You are off to New Jersey. Okay. Okay, this is... <laughs> Oh man, all right, Nikolai Ehlers and Adam Lowry for Jack Stadnika, Jacob Zaborl, a third and Yarrow Halak. Winnipeg fans, look away, I'm so sorry. Nikolai Ehlers for two, like, I'd say Stadnika's like a B-level prospect, Jacob Zaborl's probably a B-level prospect, I mean... Ouch. That's one word to describe that is ouch. All right, and another trade. Before the season even starts, we get rid of basically everyone. Paul Stastny is off to the Edmonton Oilers. Ah, yes, Winnipeg. Here we go. Let's start the season with Andrew Kopp as your second line center, with Matthew Perot as your second line winger. Defensively stays the exact same, so unfortunately we're going to scratch Connor Carrick, and Laurent Brassat is now scratched because we have a new backup goalie in town, that's Jaroslav Halak. That's definitely an improvement. I mean, our defense is bad, our offense looks a little bit worse than it did before. However, our goaltending is really good with Halak and Connor Hellebuck. Alright, Winnipeg, here we Maybe go. Maybe it's just me, but I really do miss the Atlanta Thrashers. Somehow we're 2-0, okay? I really miss the Atlanta Thrashers, though. That jersey combination, Kovalchuk, Mark Savard, Danny Heatley. Maybe it's because I grew up in that era, but man, what a team. I feel like Atlanta should get their third shot. Uh, they got rid of the Atlanta Flames, the Thrashers. Ah, eh, bring them back, why not? Uh, we trade Dylan DeMello, a big piece of our bottom defensive core, for Picks and Zach Smith. So so now we can bring up Connor Carrick, and then we get Zach Smith, who's not better than Andrew Kopp. He'll definitely be a depth guy for us, but not a terrible trade, I guess. And speaking of Andrew Kopp, we get rid of him for Jason Demers. Okay, so we improve our defense, but we get rid of a forward, but we just got Zach Smith. So I guess Kevin Cheveldayoff kind of knows what he's doing, kind of, maybe, not really. Uh, okay, we get back Brian Little for Luke Green, who is a good prospect defender but I'll definitely take Brian Little. Uh, you okay there, Lou Amarello? You good there in Long Island? Thanks, I guess. <laughs> Welcome back, Brian Little. And Jordan Stahl makes another appearance on All Trades Accepted. This time we have to part ways with Vinny Hinola. That hurts. Uh, that hurts in the long term. It's great for right now. I'll definitely take that. We say goodbye to Nate Thompson. You know what? This team might not actually be that bad. And then we trade one of our better defensemen for a prospect defenseman and a third. Okay, New York. Why are you taking away all my thunder here? But 8-4-2. Oh my god, here we are. 
star. We trade a first for Kevin Shattenkirk. Okay, so our defense might not be that bad. Uh, we get Nick Delorier that can replace Matthew Perot, who's somehow making four million dollars. Oh my god. Uh, we get rid of Laurent Brissant, which doesn't really matter because he wasn't playing anyways. I'll take that deal in a one year all trades accepted. We should probably look at our roster here. A month in, the team is completely changed and welcome back Dustin Bufflin. <laughs> Amazing. All right, of course, this is just fantastic. Dustin Bufflin, who famously basically just quit on the Winnipeg Jets. He was like, yeah, I'm gonna be done here. Thanks, but no thanks. Now he's coming back. He signs with LA and then they trade him back to Winnipeg. Oh, this is hilarious. We love this. All right, Atlanta. Sorry, I mean Winnipeg. Uh, we got Kyle Connor, Mark Shifley, Blake Wheeler, Line A, Little, and Stall. So we're giving Patrick Line A basically... I mean, I'm not saying these players are bad, but not really the line mates he's used to playing. He's used to playing with Shifley and Wheeler, but we got Delorier, Zach Smith, Mason Appleton, Jaxta Nika, Kristen Vasilainen. Defensively, Dustin Bufflin back in Winnipeg with Kevin Shattenkirk, Josh Morrissey, and Neil Pionk. So that's a really good top four. Uh, I am very impressed. Nathan Beaulieu and Derek Forbort as well. Got a couple of players scratched, including Jason Demers. However, I might throw him on the defense. I might get rid of Nathan Beaulieu and put Jason Demers there just to give us uh, some higher overalls. Is this team better than what we started with? I mean, it looks like it. What's going on, Winnipeg? Okay, this is a blockbuster. This is a huge win for the future of the Winnipeg Jets. We trade Christian Vasilainen basically for Bowen Byram. We also get Dickinson, who's decent. Uh, we get rid of Gustafson, that doesn't really matter, but Bowen Byram for Vasilainen. I mean, we lose a forward spot because Vasilainen was actually playing this year, but for the future, I'm definitely taking that. Thank you very much, Colorado. Okay, we trade a second and a third for Brian Dumoulin, Colton Sevier, a fifth and a seventh. Colton Sevier is probably going to fit in on our fourth line. I don't know if Brandon Dumoulin is going to crack that defensive core, but there you go. Another decent move. Ooh, okay, we trade Mason Appleton and Nathan Beaulieu for David Riddick, a goalie that we don't need. Big save, Dave. Welcome to Winnipeg. Unfortunately, I think you're going to be in the press box for the majority of the time. Okay, and then Derek Forbort. He's off to the New York Rangers. All right, making some weird moves here. And we're actually not doing that great. 15, 15, and 3, where we were like 8, 4, and 2 at the start of the year. So even though the teams got better, we're not doing as good. I don't know what's going on. Okay, this is a minor move. Marco Dano for Prokop. I've basically never heard of this guy, so a uh, minor move, I guess. We trade Neil Pionk, one of our better defensemen, basically for Jet Wu, Kosmar, and a fifth. That one hurts. Don't love that trade. I can slowly see our playoff dreams slipping away, but wait, we get Ryan Hartman, so our playoff dreams are now saved. Welcome to Winnipeg, Ryan Hartman. So we're headed into the trade deadline here, and even though I thought we made some moves to better the team, we're 25-31-4. Not great. Uh, I can't see us making the postseason, so let's be a seller. Everyone must go. Patrick Line, get him out of here. Apparently Dustin Bufflin is the top player on the trade bait list. Probably should be Patrick Line, but okay, NHL 21, you do you. Oh, we got ourselves a trade offer and it's a rough one. Dustin Bufflin, oh, big buff. We also trade David Riddick to the Buffalo Sabres for a first and a second. All right, everyone must go. Dustin Bufflin, it was nice having you back in Winnipeg, but you're off to Buffalo. One cold climate to another. Another trade offer, unfortunately, it's not a big one. Hendrix Lapierre, close personal friend. Uh, Hendrix Lapierre come in, a former first round pick of the uh, Washington Capitals for Colton Sevier, a third and a fifth. That's a big win for the future of the Winnipeg Jets. Okay, another trade offer. This time it's gonna hurt two big roster players for a second Julian Gauthier and a third. Winnipeg, Winnipeg, Winnipeg. So here is nine potential trades for Patrick Line, just for fun. Uh, Nicholas Jalmerson in two seconds, two firsts and a prospect from Philadelphia. He's been in some rumors for the Philadelphia Flyers. Uh, first, a third and a prospect from the New York Rangers. Kyle Palmieri, a couple picks. Anton Lundell, ooh, a fin for a fin. We could send Barkov to play with Line, ooh, that'd be nasty. Uh, first prospect and a third. A first 
first, Anton Kudobin is just a bad trade in general. Uh, Goligoski a second, so the Coyotes really want Patrick Laine. But if I was to pull the trigger, just for the Florida Panthers' sake, I'd probably take this one. Give Patrick Laine a chance to play with his fellow countryman, Alex Barkov. That would be awesome. But... It's all trades accepted. Unfortunately, those trades weren't offered to us, so we're not gonna all take right, them. All right, so a really boring trade deadline. There was no real blockbusters. I mean, the Dustin Bufflin trade was probably the biggest one. Unfortunately, Winnipeg, I don't think you're gonna be a playoff team. We're last in our division. Our team is looking rough. I gotta somehow fix this, and then we'll get off to the simulation, and maybe, potentially, we can win the draft lottery. That's what Winnipeg needs. So we got Bowen Byram up here in the NHL now. Our defense was looking really good a few weeks ago, not as great now. Uh, exact same thing with our forwards. I mean, our big four are still intact, but everything else just fell apart quickly. Let's win the draft lottery for fun. Well, it was a rough year for the Winnipeg Jets. We finished not in the top eight, not in the top 15. No, we're way down here. We're the worst team in the league. Oh no, we're close though. We finished 29th behind Ottawa and New Jersey. The bright spot is we could still win the draft lottery. So there's still hope for the Atlanta, sorry, the Winnipeg Jets. Uh, here is how everyone did. Not that it really matters. Uh, Patrick Laine only had 67 points with 37 goals. I'm going to say uh, Leon Dreisaitl led the league in points. Nope, Nathan McKinnon with 130. Holy crap. Uh, as for goals, it's Jack Eichel with 53. You love to see it. And rookie skaters, Alexi Lafreniere, followed by Barrett Hayton. Let's win the draft lottery. Let's go. Also, my pick for the Stanley Cup is going to be the Colorado Avalanche. And the Boston Bruins win the Stanley Cup in year number one. No chara, no problem for Boston. Now, did we win the draft lottery? No, we did not because we traded our pick. Oh, that's right. <laughs> we traded our pick in the Kevin Shattenkirk deal to Anaheim and we ended up losing the draft lottery anyways, dropping from three to five. Uh, LA and the Islanders won. They moved into the top three. Ottawa got shafted again. I just feel like I did Winnipeg so dirty. I'm so sorry, Winnipeg. Thanks for watching. What team do we do next? Let me know. Winnipeg, maybe it's time to go back to Atlanta.